Here's the approach, Plot P at Macclesfield Cemetery. The crematorium's over there. And here we are. <sighs> oh, we and you silly boy. It's a kind of bucket list thing. When I was 16, this would be like an Elvis fan visiting Graceland. Let's have a look what's here. In everything and, and true love to you, Ian. There's all sorts of stuff left here. I can't believe someone's left a CD of their own band here. That is tacky. Idiots, Ian would not know what a CD was, you silly billies. There's one of them with a the Vox guitar there. That's an awesome floral bouquet of the Vox guitar. That's amazing. Got to say there, folks, it's a bit of a mess. At least it's not graffitied over. And it's a shame that his actual memorial stone wasn't found again. Maybe you have a miserable life, your bastards, he nicked it. There we are, 16th of July, 2017. If you want to come and see it, it's very easy to find. Just come through the main gate into the cemetery from Westminster Road. Immediately park the car, go straight up the path um, where, where the entrance is. Obviously you see that the crematorium is there. And you just walk straight up and because it's Ian of course there's all this extra stuff there. So I'm now walking into Barton Street. We, Ian lived at 77. I guess this is it. That's Ian's house, folks. So the door's changed, but 77 Barton Street. It's sobering. So sad. It's really not at all the kind of street I thought it would be. It's a quiet residential back street. I thought it would be a bit busier. But there we are. All the other houses got the numbers up, but 77 hasn't. That's probably just a coincidence, but maybe these don't want people coming around. Well, they are Churchfield Terrace, 1850. 